Hi everyone, I'm Allie Graham and today I wanted to talk to you about doing ERP for more of the real life stuff. In real life things happen and a person who is already sensitive, who is already um, dealing with OCD, can turn really anything into OCD. So if things are uh, very close to your heart, even though something maybe is real, right? So say somebody got sick, but you take it all the way to the next level, right? Um, or say there's some problems at work or at home and, and you take it all the way to the next level, right? So see if this is your situation and if there's any areas in life where you feel like you're reacting way too much and it's becoming unproductive, it's becoming more of a detriment than of a benefit, you're not really solving anything, you are... Um, you're, you're just analyzing over and over the, the situation without actually um, doing anything about it. Maybe it's a situation that's already happened in the past and you can't do anything about it and you're just spending time thinking about it. So in those situations, you have to treat it as an exposure exercise where the thought comes in, the pull to analyze, the pull to, uh, um, to ruminate on the situation or uh, to uh, maybe look something up or to ask, you know, and it can be just about real life stuff, but you have to treat it like OCD and say, no, this is not productive. This is not getting me anywhere. And what can I do about it? If I can, if right now I can't do anything about it, then I have to disregard it and start working on it. I'm telling you, you know, long after recovery, I've been doing uh, ERP on real life stuff. And I can tell you that the benefit of it is huge because you don't spend much time um, worrying about things that are out of your control for one in one way or another. You know, and those things kind of just come up every single day. There's something, right? And if you start to get caught up in everything, then you're just like a ball of stress, right? So I do find there's a huge benefit to knowing this technique and applying it to pretty much everything that is um, just unproductive thinking, thinking that's not getting you anywhere. And then over, um, over time, as you're doing this, you're also reducing stress because you're not putting yourself in uh, activities that are of no benefit. You're not putting yourself uh, into useless situations, useless arguments, useless conversations, you know, and that really, really helps to uh, reduce stress overall as well. So I do find there's a huge benefit to it. I hope you find my videos helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, Please subscribe and talk about all things related to OCD recovery. If you would like to do the recovery program with me, all the information is on youhaveocd.com as always. Thank you. Have a good day.